Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for the color and contour class. We have some really beautiful cards and a nice um, little box to make. Um, thank you so much for joining me and for purchasing kit. Um, these are the beautiful cards that we're going to be making. Here's one of them. Please let me know if that is a kit that you would like. All you would need to do is place an order for $30 and I will send you the kit for free. Um, if you have all the supplies, then the cost for the tutorial is $25. So why not spend five bucks more and get everything for free? So we are going to be mainly using the color and contour. Um, we will also use the flower of friendship. So sit back, enjoy, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, let's just put this stuff on the side here. And we will get to our first card. So let me put that on the side. Our first card, take out your supplies to make this beautiful card. You have... Um, all of all of the product um, if you have not received your kit yet you should be receiving it very shortly so what you are simply going to do Press that down. And now this is the thick basic white. And then you have this beautiful piece of Calypso Coral. And I used the die cut from the die set from the color and contour. Um, so we're tutorial. And again, you should be, if you haven't received your kit, and just going to put the glue on the scalloped edge, and we'll just do that just like this. All right, so before we attach this, we're going to wrap some twine. So you have twine in your kit. And we're just going to tie a simple bow. And for those of you that are on my email list, you have already received information on the upcoming stamp camp. So that's one of the Scissors. And we'll just nip that a little bit. All right, now I want to slide this over so it's on the side just like that. And we'll attach this to our card base. right on the bottom and it will fit flush at the very bottom there we go all right so we have that then we have you have scrap pieces of the uh, soft succulent and the pale papaya 
So what I had done just to save a little bit of time is I had stamped out, I need some of the green leaves and I need some of the petals. And I'm just going to cut these out really quick. I did mean to cut these out ahead of time, but I completely ran short on time this morning. So I'll just cut these out real quick and then I'll show you how we are going to attach them. one and obviously if I was doing this to send this card to somebody I would be a little more careful on my cutting but what you want to do is you want to cut on the outside of the line if you cut on the line then you run the risk of cutting the image the stamped image off and it won't look as nice little too close to that line there but that's all right so we can pitch that and we'll get these leaves cut out Just get a little smaller piece to work with that's garbage so my goal this weekend it is supposed to be so stinking hot this weekend hot and muggy I'm going to go through my baskets that I have of scrap paper I have so many little bits of paper you know and you get to the point where you accumulate so many you don't even bother looking through it to see if you can repurpose some of the paper it's just my pile is just overflowing so you really need to clean that out all right there's a leaf and just two more And I was supposed to do a craft fair, an outdoor vendor this weekend, but it is just going to be way too hot. So I'm thinking I might Uh, we'll use the flowers of friendship we're going to use this stamp right right here and uh, let's see I will use crumb cake and we'll just stamp that right on here So again, if you are wanting a set of this and you didn't purchase it ahead of time, you still have the option. I do have two left and they will not last. I guarantee they'll be gone by the end of the day. So don't wait. <laughs> okay, so we'll close this. And then started here so I like to keep a little pin just to kind of help poke it through because sometimes it dries up in there I have a very sticky pin sitting on the side of my desk 
All right. So we are going to use our glue and just put little dots. Okay, that was probably a little too much, but we'll put that right on here. And a little too much, we'll share some of that glue. The one thing I do like about this glue is that you do have the chance to kind of slide it around a little bit. So I've made some cards. We had a women's conference at our church last weekend, and I made all of the attendees a card. Well, it was 120 cards that I made, and we used the Tombow glue to glue down some of the parts. Gosh, I think I went through like eight of these. So you could also color in your image. I just think it adds just a little extra when you have the colored paper. I believe that is all we need glue for. So if you do use this glue, a trick I learned from my uncle, he is an arborist, so he works like with a lot of pine trees. If you have the glue stuck on your hands, if you take some mayonnaise, rub a little bit of mayonnaise on your hands. Something with the mayonnaise, I don't know what it is, but it takes Thank you for everything. And just put that there. And I will use, what color do I want to use? I will use the Calypso Coral. And I'll just stamp that right in the center. There we go. And we will assemble the rest of the card. All right, so I'm going to put move my images, my little leaves or flower petals. So I'll just do it this way. There we go. So then you will take your rectangle and just adhere it to the card and just a little off to the side because you don't want to squish your bow. There we go. And then we'll add this on as well. And let's tear that one in half. So I'm so excited about the new stamp camp that's coming up going to be a lot of fun. You get a ton of product. All right, so then I will grab my gems I'm using the Genial Gems and we'll just put a couple of these on here. My hands are a little sticky. There we go. All right, so this is your first card. 
You could always take some Winkastella. I love Winkastella, and you could color in your little flowers. So here's the first card. All right, so let's move on to card number two. So you will pull out your pack to make this card. And don't need that. So you will pull out your pale papaya. And we will take this and fold it in half. And you could always um, score the card to make it fold a little nicer. All right, our card will be this direction, and we are going to need a piece of scrap paper. So let me get a piece of scrap paper. It's our scrap from yesterday. And we will pull out the stamp that has the bigger flower. And we're just going to randomly stamp this on our card. And you want the scrap paper because you're not going to be on the card for the whole image on some parts. Don't really need anything here because we're going to have a label. There we go. All right. So then what we will do is we will take another scalloped edge. I just absolutely love this die set. It is, and I've mentioned it several times, this is one of my favorite die sets. She can do all these rectangles, all these different framelits, all these edges. It's amazing. and line this up so that I have like the same amount on each side of, of the curve that goes up. Come on. There we go. And then we can always trim it. So I'm just going to line up so I have approximately the same on each end. That's pretty close. There we go. Let's flip it over. We'll take our snips and just trim. You could always put this in your little paper trimmer. All right, so then you have your designer series paper. This is the petal pansy or pansy petal, I'm not sure. Um, really pretty. Look at that little bumblebee, isn't that cute? It's cute on paper, not in person. I've gotten bit quite a bit this year. <laughs> quite frankly, I am done with bugs for the year. Oh, why is this sticking? No, nope. just thing I'm at the end of my roll. All right, we'll put that right on this layer. Just like that. All right, so I have already stamped and die cut this image for the sake of time. So we will color this in. We will take our pale papaya blending pens, our blenders, and just kind of wisp on some color. I love these markers. 
and with this particular stamp set you don't have to worry about being in the lines because it's just kind of a grab the dark and we'll just add a little bit of color at the bottom. It just blends so nice. There we go. go and we will grab our sentiment and stamp that right here I'm just going to flip that because there's like a little something on there our flower will cover that and let's see here I want so very happy for you is that what this one is yes That could have worked better. All right, we'll juice this up. All right, so now what we will do is actually, I do need my glue. We're going to glue this image down. I don't want to pop it up. I don't want to get too much bulk on the card, but I want just an, I, I want it a little thinner. There we go. And glue this down. And it covers up that little bit of whatever it was on my label hold it for just a couple seconds there we go now maybe we're done with this glue <laughs> all right so now we'll grab some dimensionals empty. starting a fresh sheet i love a fresh sheet of dimensionals I don't think you need to use like a whole lot of dimensionals. I know a lot of people will take dimensionals and they just line the whole thing. I just don't think it's necessary. But to each his own. All right, we'll put this right here. There we go. Now we will grab our Genial Gems. And we're going to put some of them just in the flowers. And put one towards the bottom. There we go. So here, oh, you know what? We need a bow. We need a bow. All right. So I have the white baker's twine. I'm just using what I have left over. This is from that snail mail pack. But you can get the white twine in the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. So you have it in here. It's the exact same thing. I'm just using up what I have. All right, let's make a little pretty bow. Oh, and in case you all do not know, we have a new mini catalog coming out. So if you are needing a new mini catalog, let me know. Um, let me just show it to you real quick. I can only show you the outside. I cannot show you the inside. 
you can see all my tabbies of all the things I would like. So this is the new mini catalog. It actually starts the beginning of August. And then they are having a second celebration. So how awesome is that? So if you need the new catalogs, send me a message. I will mail them out to you. So they start the beginning of August. So that is awesome. And let's attach our bow. I lost my bow somewhere. Did it get stuck on my book? Alrighty then. Oh, here it is. Okay. And I need my mini glue dot. So there is so many cute things in that catalog. So that's one of the perks about being on my team and being a part of Stampin' Up. You get to pre-order and check out all the new stuff ahead of time. So I already have a lot of stuff out of the catalog. Don't tell my husband. All right, so here is card number two. Isn't that pretty? So we have that, and again, Card number three. So you are going to be pulling out your fresh freesia paper. This is the card we will be making. So it is your basic card size, the eight and a half by five and a half. Let's take that and fold it. We'll be doing the box next. The box is really awesome. All right, so our card will be opening this way. We will take our designer series paper. Isn't that pretty? I love that paper. Oh, and don't forget the designer series paper. This paper is 15% off. So don't miss out on the designer series paper sale. And it's, it's stuff from the new catalog that we're currently in. All right, and we'll just put that right here. And the sentiment, let's see, we will use, what do we use? Okay, we will use here for you now. So I'll put that right about there. And then, and in better days ahead. So we'll put that one down there. So we will grab our block. And again, with the longer blocks, because if you try and put it on, I mean, you could put it like wonky on here and it just, it won't lay right. So I lay them flat and I pick it up with the block. All right, so I will be using, uh, let's see here, use Highland Heather. Juice that up, and we'll put that right about there. All right, that one is done, and our next one again, we'll lay it flat. Stamp our lower sentiment here. So make sure that fits nice. There we go. It's a little crooked. <clears throat> but this is just to show you how to do this. So don't do it crooked. <laughs> All right, we'll close this up. 
and we will attach this to I really, really, really appreciate that. I'll put this right in the center. Just nice, simple, sweet. And we have our really pretty flowers. I had stamped these on the Highland Heather, Fresh Freesia, and Gorgeous Grape. And I used the same ink color, and I die cut it out. Now I will tell you the die cut for these flowers is kind of a little bugger to try and line up. My suggestion for you is when you line this up, let me get the die out, just to show you so you do not get frustrated. So here's the die for that. So what I do is I see these long parts that pop out and I try and line those up with the image of the flower. So if this was my stamped image, which it is, but it, pretend it's not cut out, you will want to try and line up this with the image. So you see this long part and you see, okay, so, so there's a long part and there's this longer skinny space if you look for that on your stamped image, um, then it's easier to line up, okay? To me, this reminds me of like Jimmy Durante's nose. I don't know if you all know who he is or was. I don't know. It's just a thing. So I have the space here, and here's that long, skinny part. I just put that right in there, and it lines up perfectly with your image. So see, see how that fits? You have the long little nose part and it fits right in there. That will help you line up your die. If you need help, let me know. I can always talk you through it. We will attach these to our card and of course we will use dimensionals to do so. right or wrong order on how to do this. You could do it in any order. I'll mix this up from my original card. Just kind of lay them on here. And put this one on that side. There we go. So then I will take some of my genial gems and Add them on here. And now here is your card. And what you could also do is tie like a ribbon around the center and have a small bow. Card. All right, so now we are on to the box. This box is awesome. It opens, it closes, you can put anything you want in here. So isn't that neat? I think it's really cool. I'm going to show you how to do this. And all the directions are in the tutorial, so you can always find it that way. All right. So, You have your large piece of soft sea foam in your packet, okay? In the directions, I do give you directions on where to score everything, okay? So, I have already scored this. 
So just to go over, um, you are going to be scoring at, goes this way. So this here is an inch and a half. Then you're going to score at the three and a quarter, four and a half, seven and three quarter, and nine. Okay. And I'm sorry, this is an inch and a quarter. So then you go back and you just press down all your folds, all your score marks. Now for this, to put it together, you are going to want to use the Stamp and Seal Plus to make sure it all holds together. Okay? So when you get it to this point, you are going to want to take your scissors and cut at the bottom, cut up to the score mark, the fold, because you're going to fold this in. going to make your little box. Okay, so what you will do is you have this little flap. This is going to go on the inside, okay? So what I would suggest is put your glue on this side. Okay, so we will do that. Run that all the way down. up just like that okay and you want to really try to make sure that the glue is on the inside not sticking out like I have it not the end of the world I can take scissors and clear that off but just to make your life easier all right flip it upside down and you're going to want to fold your box and glue it all down so I would suggest putting in your inside flaps first. And you'll want to put adhesive on the tops of the inside flaps. Okay, I do it just like this. And I'll do it on this side. Again, stamp and seal plus. It will help hold your box together. So put your little flappies in. That's the technical term in case you're wondering, flappies. And then we'll fold this one over. You want to make sure you have really crisp edges, so get that bone folder out. Okay. Now we'll we'll press everything together, but you want to get adhesive on this side as well. Put your last little flappy down. Then I turn it this way, I take my bone folder and I put it inside and I just run it across the bottom just to kind of press it all down. And here is your box. Okay, now what you will want to do, because you want it to fold like that, okay, you're not really going to do any kind of score marks, you're just going to hand bend it. So what I do is I hold the box, I find the center part, and I just kind of pinch it together, just like that, okay? Squeeze the edges, and there it will close. All right, so let's make this beautiful. So what you will do is you have a color contours die of this, and you're going to fold it in half. Okay, trust me, you will fold this in half. You'll just take that and go just like that. You don't need to crisp down the edge. I'm just pushing it down with my finger. There we go. Now, you'll put glue on the inside flap. Again, 
stamp and seal plus because it is extra strong grab your box and just fit it right in that crease make sure it's lined up and press it down all right so now you have your little flap okay you don't want it well you could crisp it down so it looks a little prettier but it you don't have to you can do it when you put it all together all right so then we will take our designer series paper we'll put some adhesive and put it right on the front part of the card i think i'm at the end of my glue here finish this project without having to swap it out. All right, so I'll put that right at the bottom. There you go. Can I stick your hand in there and just kind of press it that way. Alrighty, now you will take your little label and we will stamp our sentiment on here. And let's see here. Oh, my happy birthday there. I bet I pulled it from another stamp set. But you know what? All good. I'm sure we can find something here. We will use, oh, here, here we go. We can use here for you now. So this would be really cute if you're giving somebody like a little, I mean, you could throw like bags of tea in here, a little coffee. You could throw some, some little comfort things in there. So let's get our sentiment on. And I will use the polished pink the polished pink matches the flowers and I'll put that right on here there we go all right we need that we'll put this attached to our front of our box right on here there we go so now in your kit <coughs> excuse me you also have a little square thing of vellum okay or not vellum velcro goodness so you have the two pieces keep them together i'm going to peel the backs off Maybe, come on. Probably should have pre-peeled these. Oh, there's one. Oh, goodness. There we go. All right. So now you will take stuck my finger. <laughs> take one part of it and again you want them still together. Put this right in the center here. Get your finger off of there. Take your box, fold it up, and then you will put it just right on there so it lines up. All right, so now you will carefully peel it open.
So now we still need to finish decorating our box. So we are going to grab our memento block and we're going to stamp some flowers. And the flowers are coming out of the Flowers of Friendship. And we will use a large one and a small one. And now one of my friends had shown me a really clever, clever, clever idea. She had taken a scrap piece of paper and punched out just to, to make like a template. She punched it out so that when she's making all of these, you can take that template and line up your stamps so that when you go in to punch, it all measures out. I just thought that was really clever. In June, you would have seen that. She, she had demonstrated how to do that. So we got ink on both. Just going to stamp them down because we wanted one of each size. All right. Don't need that anymore. Now we will take our stamp or our punch. And punch these out. So we'll start with the big one. And we'll just line it up. That one, that's garbage. And now we'll line up Oh, what do we got here? I think we need a little more on. And I like to stamp my image first, just because trying to line this up is way easier than trying to line up your stamp. There we go. All right, get rid of that. And there we go. All right, so I'm going to grab my blenders and a polished pink light. Come on, is this the one I want? Just going to color that in. So the box is fairly simple to do. It just takes a little bit of patience, just making sure that you that you have everything all lined up. dark. There we go. And we'll just kind of do the opposite on this one. You can color them however you would like. I am so like not a painter, so I'm more of a stamper. There we go. And then we will assemble. All right. So then we will grab the glue dot. I'm going to grab two. I just like the strength of two. Right on the back. And then we'll line these up. Just like that. We'll just curl up the edges just a bit. Oop. It's not really sticking because the marker is still wet. Uh, 
there we go. Grab a dimensional. And now we need to place our flower. Now it's going to be a little different than my sample one because I had a different um, a, a different set sentiment. So I think we'll put this one on this side, just like that. And we need a gem. I think we'll use, and it might not stick because the paper's still kind of wet, but we'll give it a try. that up, squish these down, and we need a ribbon, <clears throat> so we will grab some more of the white twine, and we'll make a pretty bow, and you could use ribbon also if you'd like. So don't forget, if you are needing a new catalog, send me a message. I will pop one in the mail for you. I am going to the post office tomorrow, so leave me a, a message. Oh, it stuck to my finger. Goodness. All right. Right on there. All right. And there we have our little box. So here we have one here for you now. So you can put some like really sweet um, some things in here to, to make someone feel better. We have that. Um, again, shoot me a message looking for a new catalog. Let's pull out the rest of the cards. Put that one on the side. I did that. And then we have this. So the main set that we used was the color and contour. Um, you can get the bundle. I think the bundle's a better deal because you get all these amazing die cuts. Uh, we also use the Flowers of Friendship. So you could check that out, and I believe that's $35 for the bundle. You get the stamp set and the, the punch. So that's a good deal. And then be sure to check out um, my email if you... Um, you have the option of two additional add-on classes, which are really beautiful, um, for $57. So something definitely to check out. I will be putting a link on Facebook soon. But um, otherwise, get in on my email, and you will get first dibs. It is a limited amount, so you won't want to miss out. All right, well, that is all I have for you. Friday. Um, again, if you are looking for the supplies to make this plus the tutorial, it is $25. If you place an order for $30, you get the class to make two boxes, two of each of the cards. So you get all the supplies plus the tutorials. So, all right, well, you all have a wonderful, wonderful, safe weekend, and I will see you all next week. All right, bye-bye.